Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me Vivs from Slidenote here. In this video, we are going to talk about something called asynchronous scripts in JavaScript. How can the user download scripts without blocking the HTML page such that the user is able to see something while the scripts are being downloaded in the background? That's what this is all about. First of all, we'd like to thank RJ Christie for contributing these presentations on JavaScript. If you guys have to contribute something on some subject, you can email us at slidenote at the rate gmail.com. So let's get started. First, what are asynchronous scripts? Now there is an as attribute called async for your script tag in HTML5. Using this, you can make your script asynchronous. Now this is very similar to defer. It changes the way the script is executed. Normally when you have a script tag and you don't have any attribute like defer or async, all the code inside your script tag is gonna be first downloaded if it's from an external script and then it's gonna be executed. Meanwhile, no HTML, no images, nothing is gonna be visible on the page. That's how things work normally. Now. Async applies only to external scripts just like your defer and it does not work with code inside your same HTML page. So for XHTML documents use the attribute async equals to async for mentioning that it's an asynchronous script. So what is exactly the difference between async and defer? Now this is something we have taken up from this guy peter.sh experiments we like to credit this person for conducting this research forget all the text written here just look at the diagram here the blue means downloading red means executing normal script this green line is where your HTML structure is being read here the script tag is encountered all the code is first downloaded in the blue line the red line means executing it and then again working with your HTML so in other words while the user is expecting some HTML on the browser window here in this part he sees nothing nothing works because the script is being downloaded and executed and you see a blank page in front of you that's what normally happens now let's talk about defer defer means downloading sometime in parallel when your HTML parsing happens but executing after all the HTML parsing is complete in other words you have the HTML parser that's being done here and somewhere between the HTML script gets downloaded that is your external script and then it gets executed at the end of the things but script async is somewhat a mixture of both in other words the script gets downloaded somewhere in between and it also gets executed somewhere in between when your parser feels like it's ready for executing JavaScript so asynchronous like it says here in the post asynchronous is the best of both words HTML parsing may continue and the script will be executed as soon as it's ready so this is the kind of condition you have there's not much difference between defer and async but then this is the clear difference where defer will always execute after the HTML parsing has been complete but async has no particular order that's the difference so let's talk more about asynchronous scripts unlike defer scripts that are marked as async are not guaranteed to execute in the order in which they are specified for example if there are two script files example 1.js and example 2.js the second script is not guaranteed to run after the first script in other words two may run before one and in such cases you'll have to be careful because if your two contains some code that depends on one then you are ruining up your chances of writing good JavaScript code if you're using the async attribute so further discussing in the code the second strip might execute before the first there should be no dependencies that's my point the second file should not depend on the first file for something if you want to use async on both of them the purpose of the async is to indicate that the page need not wait for the script to be downloaded and executed while continuing to parse. Now, it's also recommended that asynchronous scripts do not modify the DOM as they are loading. That means writing document.write or changing some tags. Don't do that when you're using async attribute because they are working on scripts that don't modify the HTML structure. So, in other words, Asynchronous six scripts are guaranteed to execute before the page load image. In the previous video, Defer, we talked about the DOM content loaded, which talks about the part where your HTML structure is ready. 
and then there's the load event which indicates that all the resources needed for displaying the page properly on the browser have been downloaded so between these two somewhere the asynchronous scripts are gonna execute they may also execute before the DOM content loaded there's no guarantee about that and of course only the browsers 3.6 plus 5 plus and Chrome 7 plus supports asynchronous scripts so now let's go to WebStorm and try to figure out how asynchronous scripts can be used so in the previous video I was talking about the example for defer here I'm using a very similar example there's a file called async test.js it has an alert which says hi I'm async number one there's normal.js that says I'm normal there's async test2.js which says pretty much same thing and then there's the async test.html there's a head there's a title that says async test and three external script files that are linked over here then there's the body inside which there's an h1 which says hey man do you see me now I'm HTML now this is the normal script which means the first script tag is going to be encountered this file async test.js will be downloaded it will be run then the second script tag is encountered and the stuff goes on like I just said if you want to see how this runs you can go here click on chrome here at the top and it says I'm async number one you click OK I'm async number two click OK I'm normal click OK and then you see the HTML here which says hey man do you see me now like you can see clearly unless those scripts are executed the user is not gonna see any HTML which means the page is gonna be blank which is not a good idea now let's take a look at this in Firefox as well just to see how Firefox deals with things I'm async number one okay async number two okay normal okay and then there's the HTML stuff now let's add async over here let's say to the first file async equals to async the way you added an HTML stuff async equals to async now the third file I will keep it as normal which means the first two files can be executed and run anytime but the third file as soon as it is seen here it's gonna be downloaded and executed now let's run things in Chrome and figure out how Chrome works so I run this this time it says I am async number one okay and then it says I am normal well and you click OK it says I'm async number two and at the same time in the background you see the HTML file running here which means async does not preserve any order between the files now first file was seen then there was normal then there was a second file now if you go to Firefox it may be possible that you see completely something different here click OK just close this go to Firefox here from the top I'm async number one okay I'm async number two take a look at that click OK I'm normal click OK and then you see the HTML file and click close now run this on Firefox another time let's see if it gives the same output I am normal that is the first this time click OK I'm async number one async two click OK and then bam there's the HTML stuff which is actually still loading I don't know why probably some issue so as you can notice clearly there is no defined order as to which file will be downloaded first or run first when you're using async and that way I kind of think that defer is a better attribute to use but remember both defer and async are supported only in the newer browsers if you want to still know how you can load stuff behind the scenes on older browsers then we will be talking about it in a separate video because there are several procedures associated with that and they have been discussed at detail using external li libraries or JavaScript files writing solid code out there which we guys still haven't dealt with yet in JavaScript so in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day